Welcome to Indie Genius, the culture of improvisation, innovation, and creativity. This is Noy Narciso. Improvisation is, um, is a common word. It is used by anybody. It is used by everybody. Um, not just the artists. People are doing this unconsciously. If they encounter a, a uncertainty, or uncertainties in their lives, for example, something to solve the problem, sometimes you improvise. Improvisation is the act of improvising and innovating to find a solution for a particular circumstance. It also means transformation or borrowing. Um, it is all commonly used in music, theater, and performing arts. And for me to be able to rationalize and contextualize the relevance of my action, the relevance of Mm, ma, this art activity no, as part of my creative process I borrowed some concepts and um, anchored my idea to articulate it example from, um, some scholars did not mention about improvisation but they use other terms to explain it Johan and Madeline Rose um, utilized the word Spontaneity. So, spontaneity is a term always associated with, um, it is associated directly to improvisation because it's the actual, it's the spontaneous, the, it's the flow, fluidity. Uh, even Kant, um, his, um, he described improvisation as the emergence. It's an act of a particular moment uh, or he used the word sponta spontanitat. While uh, Moreno mentioned about readiness of the subject to respond as required. So this is a, um, a response, no, a direct response to, to a question, to a problem, no, or a solution. No. And uh, it, re it requires only basic uh, ability on the common sense. No. Merrill uh, used the word an act. So it is the actual, an action. Aristotle used the word pronesis or practical wisdom. So very simple, practical wisdom refers to the common sense. It refers to the ability, uh, to uh, ability of the person to uh, solve a certain issue or uh, to respond on a certain uh, act or an encounter. Uh, some people use the word spur of the moment. Um, ngayon din, now. Some use the word ba. It's a Japanese term for knowledge creation. So that is one thing good uh, in improvisation. It is not just an escape, no, as an ad lib, but it allows the the individual, the artist, to somehow no to to meet the accident or at the same time be able to draw out something, a technique. Uh, it can also be an aha or a yorika. Uh, improvisation, uh, as described in other art forms, means thinking and acting spontaneously. It's uh, an, an on-the-spot, uh, theatrical improvisation with no script. Uh, that's according to Matusak. For Dave Morris, suggested that improvisation is the act of improvising, being spontaneous and making stuff up. Okay. The next slides are... are evidences of improvisation in the everyday life and, and encounter this uh, in the early stage of my my exploration towards improvisation not just in the field of the arts but also in the everyday life 
Uh, the, uh, this one is a street performer in Panabo City. I was astonished uh, and amazed with his, um, his aside from his performance, his, his bicycle because everything is there, his things, uh, the battery, uh, the amplifier, and the speaker are all installed in the bicycle. It's very good. Uh, the next slide is a our toys. No? It's our improvised toy, a speedboat by the elementary students in Santo Tomas Central Elementary School, Davao del Norte. I saw them. I, when I passed by, I saw them playing. So I was curious. And I saw this. This is a, an artwork. Now this is a, a functional toy, a toy. Um, and I was joking about it that this is a project between China, America, and Philippines. Uh, the, the the plastic is the pow the powder case is America, and China is the rubber band, and the Philippines is the barbecue stick, <laughs> an improvised thing. The next one is a an improvised four wheel farm cart. I also found I found it I I discovered this in Santo Tomas Public Market. Um, everything is hundred percent is actually done by a local. Look at the creativity. This one is an improvised gasoline tank. I was looking into this motorcycle. Uh, where's the gasoline tank? He even used the plastic container, the oil plastic. No, plastic container for the oil as the source of the gasoline. And look at the rubber that they use. That's also an interior of the uh, of a tire. No. Uh, the next one is the, the way we name cookies and bread in bakery. Filipinos love, even I, I love tinapay you know, with kape. But uh, what I enjoy the most is the, how they play with names. No? And, uh, naming the cookies and bread. Half moon, polvoron, hopia, double body, yo yo, and torta, raisin cake, cut cake yellow. But you know, class, uh, I, I experimented. Uh, I bought um, one each kind. Of. But uh, when I tasted it, they're almost the same. Kaya my joke is, sana binili ko na lang yung pudding kay isang lasa lang lahat. The other one is an improvised shade for a habal habal no? from a tarpaulin ads. In Monte Vista, Davo de Oro. Now Davo de Oro, and before it's Comval. Look at this. Um, before the for before the commercial plastic cover, they already explored. Uh, aside from that, is the taplud. Taplud is the Visayan term for top load. So it is appropriated for passengers. And even local tourists love to stay in, on the top instead of the, the seats under. Um, this tricycle is a design influenced by rolling hills and mountainous air terrain in Pagadian City. This is the best example of form follows function. It is counterweight you know, to be able to uh, drive into uh, uphill and downhill. The other one is a Kalesa inspired tricycle in Osami City. If you look at it, um, it, it has a different design. You know? It is uh, influenced by the old pack ng kalesa eh, an encounter with a ethno-linguistic uh, group uh, it was actually was uh, doing a performance during Christmas uh, this is 10 or 15 years ago um, at, I was amazed because of a, a two-string guitar with the speaker microphone, tape deck um, then if you notice uh, there are other parts installed into that instrument, tra the traditional instrument. Uh, the tuning keys uh, are still in traditional format, but at the back of the body is there's battery, and in front when you open it uh, there's the uh, tape deck. So I ask him why. You know? So every time down uh, he's, he start playing, he can play the. Uh, recorded or if you want uh, accompaniment you can also play it or in case the wala lang string you can play it and just pretend that he's actually playing uh, the Uy pick still traditional but instead of using the abaca he used the nylon string and even added the trompa no a speaker so this is something new so look at this there's a microphone also in the in the instrument so I asked him 
dato dili ba siya hindi ba siya bawal na sisira yung babaguhin mo alam niyo sinagot niya sa akin kung kayo mga Kristiyano pinag-aaralan kami kami din pag-aaralan namin kayo so, di, but <laughs> another that interests me is the improvisation in a payag in a vernacular house so i am interested in this because of my love of the countryside <laughs> so if you notice uh I mean, dried coconut leaves are used as toothpick, wood planks as step on, and branches as kawit. So, yung ginagamit ito yung pag uh, maglilinis sila ng damo. No? And yung mga flat stone, nilalagay nila yan under the post as earthquake proof. And even mga, lahat ng mga bagay that uh, are, are repurposed, like the old sleepers as stoppers, Uh, plastic containers as a funnel and even gal uh, discarded galvanization as used as a gutter and tarpaulin posters from the cities are also reused as protection from rain or used as floor mat used as covering and even the net uh, from a garden was also used as a fish net and even a discarded metal was used as a scraper Even the the broom and dustpan was actually made from a plastic uh, container, and even the plus uh, wrappers are also used as to tie up the uh, broomstick. And all the 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 materials there, the plastics are reused. Uh, even uh, the trees are converted into hangers. Uh, anything that you can put something, they they. So they improvise. Everything is fluid. The space is is alive. And this is one thing that I notice with improvisation is that these are the movements, the action, the choreography. That everything uh, you can hang, you can insert something, you can do multifunctional space. For example, the the veranda is for resting. Uh, and it's also for receiving sitors and for storing harvested crops and they to the extent that the, the door was even used for a formula for a last two digit uh, gambling and gleaning is also part of the um, activity you know, the action that was used for improvising you can lean anything anytime in a farm in its vicinity uh, even tying is uh, one action also uh, paddle as door handle um, then the space are well, well but there are also there are distinctions of spaces some dangerous objects and elements like pesticides and items are put on the, uh, on the top of the area of the house or the post but there are also delineating spaces of sacred and private space the altar Uh, but they also put there the sprayer. So, but um, this particular utilization space, they also change from time to time. Uh, so, the impro the con uh, even the definition of space are also improvised. Put a bamboo, but you can run over it, you can step over it, but just a, an installation, no? just to remind you of a friendly territorial mark. No? Now, this is what I realized that... Um, Um, Filipino houses, Filipino space, either it's a jeep, it's a tricycle. These are all extension of the race. We notice the design. Uh, um, these are all uh, according to Antulia uh, in her research that it's a culture of improvisation is a way of life. No? It's characterized by adaptation, creativity, and innovation. Um, and aesthetic, everyday aesthetic. No? It's different from the perspective looking to fine arts and other art forms in the mainstream. Then, another thing that I learned from um, this observation with the Filipino spaces is uh, the concept of De Leon, uh, Philip, uh, Philip De Leon. Uh, the common Filipino is a maximalist, filling up every available space with forms and things. So, it springs from an expressive exuberance deeply rooted in emotional sensitivity and a strong urge to connect. So to the extent they even use this as a uh, 
as a representation for achievement or uh, narrative or yung memories. Uh, so even the way we deal with people, yung talang they improvise no yung mga, it's, it's a fluid thing, spontaneous yung yung interaction. Now this time we will explore the my improvised instruments or my DIY instruments. This one is a bottle. Uh, this is one of the oldest instruments that I made. Uh, these are this particular instrument uh, um, by a pentatonic uh, composition uh, arrangement. You know? But the sound are based not only on the uh, not by notes, but based on the sound and pitch of the bottle, and they're arranged as is, and. It's also inspired by the story of my mother that, uh, you know, the sound of a co the conch shell. When you put that in your in the beach, you know. I haven't experienced that now because uh, you can no longer see conch shell in the, along the shoreline. But I was able to experience that in a decorative, uh, a, 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 a conch shell displayed in the house. The next one is um, a, an instrument. These are bulk bulk found in the sh shoreline, but they are actually from the mountains and uh, during flood, uh, they went away to in the shoreline. They are, they are now soaked, uh, soaked in salt water, so it is now preserved. So what I did is I assembled it, I cleaned it up for, for almost a month, no? Until such time na yung amoy niya, yung ba, yung stink talagang mawawala. And then pag mag-crack na siya, pwede na siya open So by putting up, using a Ito naman yung tawag nito, yung driftwood and uway. Arrange siya. Pwede na siya maging swimming. The next one are mga instruments na using the miracle fruit and the uway actually are uh, left in the school. No? These are used for armies. Uh, all the materials there are found objects. Even even used the um, they're all inspired also by indigenous at the same time exploration of a one string guitar. They are fretless. Like the caserolas, two string vibrato, two string guitar, sitar sound. No? Almost the same with the sitar sound. You can even see the they even use a wooden uh, what is this? Yung comb no to to be as as, as a bridge. This one is uh, is a, you have to use a bow. To, to produce a sound, you know, high pitch sound. And this one is a 3 in 1 vibrato. These are actually a combination of a kalimba and pipe and bottle. Uh, this one is uh, another string instrument. This is a, a tank from a motorcycle. Um, this one is a sprayer. Uh, this one is a sound effects uh, producer. I also use um, uh, mga discarded parts of the instruments like the tuning keys, even the um, bell from uh, from a bicycle, some parts of the motorcycle, some parts of the anywhere, you no. Know? Uh, so there are springs. The sounds uh, it produces an eerie sound. This one is a. This is, is an artwork. Uh, uh, by the way, all of these artworks are are visual. They are decorative, but at the same time. You can also use it. You can also use this in a performance. Uh, this one is a bottle. You can actually play this by carrying it like this. It's a big work. To touch the spring, they will create vibrations. And when you put some, when you amplify this, it will create a, a different sound, a different uh, vibration, a different uh, tone. Uh, this one is a two string takuri vibrato for an object. A real takuri, and I use the the bottle as the slider. It's only a uh, one string guitar. This one is a um, sound box. So, so this is the first sound box I made that, that that's exhibited in Manila, in Makati. Uh, the title is about Tira Tira. So mine, Tira Tira means the left, not just food leftovers, not Tira na commentary, but Tira Tira, these are waste, discarded things. This, you can actually play with it. There are strings, you can scrape it, you can touch it, and it is also amplified. Uh, this is a in, tam piano inspired by kalimba, uh, but instead of use yung the kalinda, the African have their own way of note, musical notation. 
what I did is that I, I tried to imitate the kulintang uh, using the pentatonic or the seven notes but uh, uh, but somehow I only use five notes no, to retain its uh, indigenous uh, uh, aura and sound so I even use the five centavo as wash I have everything they're all some are uh, by the way I use the times I use there they are actually they are from a wiper the metal uh, strip in a wipe car wiper uh, some are parts from the kitchen uh, some are from old tambourine springs shells uh, I use <laughs> anything some are from the surplus store some are found objects so there are so many variations incorporated sit hit sing string and others that you can actually create sound no? but through vibrations the length and the way you tighten it also affects the sound mm. this one is a discarded instrument it's a percussion instrument metals uh, with a heightened sound so they are varied sound you put some springs and you also some metal that i can produce uh, yung parang, parang script. But, uh, this is innovation